On the 621st day of the war in Ukraine, the fighting was concentrated in these areas. In Kherson front, Ukrainian forces continued to hold their new bridgeheads inside the village of Krinky and north of Bitstepne. According to various Russian sources, including Romanov and Rybar, today, for the first time, Ukrainian forces managed to land armored fighting vehicles across the Dnipro River. Romanov posted this photo on his Telegram channel, saying that the Ukrainian forces used the PTS-2 amphibious cargo vehicle to transport a BTR-4 infantry fighting vehicle into the village of Krinky across the Dnipro River. This photo is the first evidence that proves that the Ukrainian forces are now capable of transporting armored units across the river. It is not yet known if Ukrainians have been able to send more vehicles, but this news indicates that the Ukrainian offensive on the left bank of of the Dnipro may escalate very soon. Meanwhile, with the support of artillery and drone units, Ukrainian forces managed to expand their foothold inside Krinky by taking more ground on the eastern parts of the village. According to Ukrainian sources, Ukrainian soldiers now control about 70% of the settlement. Operating from their positions near the right bank of the Dnipro River, the Ukrainian artillery and drone units are inflicting heavy losses on the Russian army. Geolocated footage released today by Ukrainian sources showed that thanks to the HIMARS systems, Ukrainians destroyed two BM-21 Grad rocket artillery systems of the Russian forces, while another T-72 tank was destroyed by Ukrainian drone units somewhere in the left bank of the Dnipro River. In Donetsk front, clashes were reported near Avdivka and Novomikhailivka. Although no visible territorial changes have taken place during the past few days, heavy clashes are still ongoing for the control of the railway north of Avdivka. Today, Ukrainian sources published footage of their Bradley infantry fighting vehicles opening fire and suppressing the Russian infantry forces on their positions near the railway southeast of Stepove. According to Ukrainian sources, on a few occasions the Russian infantry was able to take positions on the three lines east of the railway, but the lack of the support by armored units and the effective response of the Ukrainian artillery and drone units is not allowing them to move forward. The current situation can be described by this photo, which shows a wide view of the most crucial part of the entire front line. Currently, most of the clashes are happening along this tree line that goes from the field of death northeast of Stepove towards the Ukrainian-controlled chemical plant, which is visible in the distance. Russian forces continue to launch armored assaults near the tree lines east of Stepove, which according to the latest geolocations, remain under the Ukrainian control. While further south, Russians are relying more in waves of infantry forces to storm the areas between the Terricon and the chemical plant, but so far they have had no success in achieving a significant breakthrough in this direction. On the southern part of the Donetsk front, the Russian army intensified the offensive operations near Mikilske and Novomikhailivka, where Russian forces managed to gain some ground, but at the cost of heavy losses in equipment and manpower. Russian forces resumed their armored assault south of the town of Novomikhailivka. Today, Ukrainian sources published footage from the 79th Air Assault Brigade, showing a Russian armored unit advancing towards the Ukrainian position south of this town. It seems that the Russian forces tried to advance during the night in order to avoid being detected by the Ukrainian defenders until they got very close to their positions. However, the 79th Brigade spotted the Russian unit and thanks to their work, at least three Russian tanks and two armored fighting vehicles were damaged and destroyed. In Kupiansk front, the Russian forces continue to put pressure on the Ukrainian positions south and southwest of Peshotravneve, aiming to reach the road that goes between Petropavlivka and Orlyanka. During the past few days, the Russian forces have been able to make some advances south of Peshotravneve, but the 14th Mechanized Brigade of the Ukrainian army continues to cause heavy losses on the advancing Russian forces. Today, the Ukrainian brigade published new footage showing a Russian armored convoy attacking the Ukrainian position southwest of Peshotravneve. According to Ukrainian sources, thanks to the work of artillery and ATGM crews of the 14th Mechanized Brigade, at least four Russian tanks and armored fighting vehicles were damaged and destroyed. Friends, if you like my daily updates, I kindly ask you to hit the like and subscribe buttons, as this will greatly help the channel to reach a wider audience. That's all for today's update, thank you to my Patreon supporters and have a great day!